I am Vasily Lukashov. I am the uh, co-founder and the CEO at Fixar. We have great background. I'm the best Russian pilot of uh, the Warbirds, the radio combat of the Warbirds, the World War II. And uh, I was the president of the Air Modeling Association of St. Petersburg. The idea was to uh, make the plane uh, by the principles uh, of the plug and play if we speak about the mass market, then it is understood that uh, the more drones come to the market, the easier must be the way of the use of them. That is the reason why there are so many quadcopter systems. But the quadcopter system have too many limitations. For example, the first limitation is the wind. It can't fly when it is windy. 10 meters per second and you stop flying because it is very ineffective in such a weather. And uh, for example, here in Latvia and uh, in St. Petersburg, in the uh, near seas regions, uh, such windy weather is okay, it's uh, casual. So, uh, another problem of uh, the copters is that they use uh, the magnetic fields for the orientation. Because uh, actually it is need not needed for the airplane systems, but for the copters it is needed because they are standing in one point and uh, when you put the command to move to another point, you must uh, have the azimuth. Where is that point? And um, the easiest way is uh, like in geodesy, uh, like in orientation, to use the compass. So the compass, but the electronic compass, the magnetometer, is used in copters to orientate uh, in the positioning and that is the problem because compass uh, doesn't work uh, near the north and south pole for example uh, compass doesn't work near the uh, metal constructions uh, that means uh, the copter has many problems the regular copter i think uh, has many problems landing to the birds uh, to the uh, moving objects, to the uh, ropes of the buildings, to the cars, and uh, also in the abnormal magnetic fields uh, regions. In Russia there are many regions uh, with abnormal magnetic fields. And we see the big advantage of our drone in that way, because it doesn't use the magnetometer it doesn't use uh, the uh, magnetic field for its orientation. It does it by our own algorithms, by the initial systems. Our initial markets are the aerial photography for the 3D models of the regions, the organic farming and biological protection of the corn, of apples, of other plants, of rice, for example, of cotton and uh, the laser scanning. Now we have the drones which may fly indoors, uh, which use the decision-making algorithms and uh, try to avoid walls. Our expectations on uh, Latvia are basically strategic. First, because of the political situation, it is not so easy for the Russian company, for example, uh, to go to the European market. So, it is easier for the Latvian company, as Latvia is in the European Union. And um, another reason is, I would say, some kind of the safety, uh, the safety of the intelligence uh, property.